The Scottish singer has landed a lucrative deal with streaming giant Netflix to have behind-the-scenes footage about the making of his first two albums turn into a documentary. Scottish singer Lewis Capaldi will be able to get a round or two extra in now that he is said to have banged the fortune to have a Netflix documentary made about him. The 26-year-old Glaswegian has netted a seven-figure deal with the streaming giant for the Fly on the Wall show which will see cameras follow him as he goes about his life in and out of the studio. While footage previously put together that the Before You Go singer has been collating since before his debut album was released will also be included in the show. The documentary is expected to give fans full insight into the making of both of Lewis's albums, the debut, divinely uninspired to a hellish extent, and his highly anticipated follow-up, Broken by Desire to be Heavenly Set, which is due out in May. A source told The Sun, this documentary has been a labor of love and the outcome is a really eye-opening picture of who Lewis is. It shows his funny side but also much more personal elements. It has been made by director Joe Perlman, who is behind the infamous 2018 documentary Brothers, after the screaming stops. The report also claims the Netflix deal has secured a seven-figure sum, suggesting the singer could have banged at least £1 million for the TV project. Lewis is nominated for a Brit Award and will face off against H. and Ashanti, Cat Burns, Dave, Ed Sheeran and Elton John, Eliza Rose and Interplanetary Criminal, George Ezra, Harry Styles, Alath System and Sam Smith and Kim Petras for the Song of the Year Gong. He is also due to perform at the star-studded ceremony which will take place in London on Saturday night. Highlights of the show will air on ITV1 and ITVX from 8.30pm on Saturday, February 11th. Controversy has swarmed the 2023 Brit Awards after it was revealed the ceremony would go genderless for the coveted Artist of the Year Award. Outrage was ignited when no women were subsequently nominated for the award. And non-binary singer Sam Smith was brutally mocked when they denounced the Brit's choice not to nominate any female artist despite petitioning in 2021 for the awards to drop gendered gongs, saying they looked forward to a time where awards shows can be reflective of the society we live in. Sam told the Sunday Times last month, Kat Burns and Marie Florence Welch. There's so much incredible female talent in the UK, they should be on that list. It is a shame. Things are moving forward, but it's obvious it's not there yet. From seeing the best artist list, there is still a long way to go. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.